Well Together podcast. Welcome to Well Together podcast. In each episode, inspiring conversations from wellness experts will guide you towards a better life. If you are ready, let's start our healthy life journey. In this episode, do you wonder how unresolved past traumas manifest in our physical health? Do you want to learn practical strategies to break through deep seated emotional barriers? Today, our guest host, Michelle Schonfeld, welcomes Caroline Dawson, an emotional freedom techniques and matrix re imprinting practitioner. In this mind opening conversation, you will discover and remove the blocks holding you back from the happiness, abundance, and success you deserve. It's time to tune in. The journey to well being together begins now. Hello, and welcome to the Well Together podcast. I'm your host, well being alchemist Michelle Schoenfeld, and I am thrilled for another informative episode. Today, we are going to be discussing EFT Matrix re imprinting. And to do that, we've brought in specialists from around the world, (laughs) Caroline Dawson. Welcome, Caroline. Thank you, Michelle. It is just a thrill to have you here talking about something so important that can help with our emotional well-being. And so let me just jump right in. How do unresolved past traumas manifest in our physical health? And what common symptoms or conditions can be linked to these experiences? Okay. Well, I think you'll agree that something like stomach issues, digestive issues can be really quite prominent across the world. And what happens when somebody has a trauma, if they kind of think of it like a kick in the guts or just couldn't digest that, we inherently know what's going on. So the energy of that trauma can land on the stomach. That's that's what we'll say, it's a kick in the gut. It's literally like, ugh. And so that energy can actually cause uh, like a paralysis to some degree in the stomach and cause all sorts of issues. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So things of like, people say that like, oh, I caught my breath. Yeah. Well, that'd be more your your chest, right? But like how that kind of a trauma, depending on what it is, affects different areas of your body. And it's all perception of what happened. Another common one is headaches, migraines. They are related to the pressure that we put on ourselves. Interesting. Well, how can individuals recognize the signs that past traumas are affecting their present day health? Like you're mentioning these, how can somebody do it for themselves and recognize and what steps can they take to address these underlying issues? Well, basically any physical or psychological issue is based on trauma. This isn't something unfortunate we were taught in school, but uh, I've studied this as long as I've been studying EFT and matrix reimprinting that the mind and the body are connected. So when we have a trauma, let's just say I'm not supported, not good enough, then that person can actually have back issues because that's actually where the energy goes. The back, if you think about it, the spine is our support system and self-worth is to do with the muscles and the tendons and all the things that, you know, muscles are all that strength. So if, if somebody thinks I'm not good enough or strong enough, then their muscles can weaken. So that's anything does go back to trauma. It's so interesting because we're born happy, right? We're born little kids. We're we're happy. We smile. We'll play with anybody. And then we kind of learn these behaviors that you're right can affect us physically and emotionally. Well, let's go right to what the EFT matrix re-imprinting. What does it actually encompass? And what significance does it hold in personal transformation? Like basically why EFT matrix re-imprinting? Let me start with EFT because that's actually the foundation of matrix re-imprinting. EFT has been around for about 25 years. And that's the emotional freedom technique, the tapping. The tapping, yeah. It's actually techniques. Now, EFT is amazing in itself. Great for when somebody has trauma in the moment. I've been teaching it in schools to children who, you know, to say, well, if you've been bullied, you know, you've got all emotional, then just do the tapping. Tapping's based on meridian points, just like acupuncture. So acupuncture is sticking needles in the body into the meridian points and releasing energy, but there's no psychology to it, all right? But it's the psychology that we need to get to to really feel on a subconscious level, and it's great to pay. However, 
With Matrix Reimprinting, what we do is in a very gentle, safe way is we actually have ways to get to very relevant memories and then we actually imagine stepping into the movie of that memory and we make it safe, like we shrink people down and we pause things and and then the client closes their eyes and imagines stepping into the matrix. In Matrix Dream Printing, we call it that younger self, your echo. So we go into the matrix and the client introduces themselves to their little self and there's a communication that goes on. It's really quite phenomenal. Like we sometimes have these echoes that say, where have you been? I've been waiting for you. And then we do the tapping at the time of the trauma. So is this something that your patients or clients, they're tapping on themselves while you're guiding them through the visualizations or are you tapping on them? If I'm doing a one-to-one individual, I will be tapping on the client. But that's only to direct them to where to tap on their younger self, whether it's a child or an adult self or teenager. But also there's wording that we use as well. You know, to address like the fear, for example, or the anger. So we're we're using words and tapping at the same time. And because we're right in the memory at the time of trauma, the echoes tend to clear really quickly, so much more quicker than just EFT doing on yourself for something that happened. For anybody who's not aware of what EFT is, the emotional freedom techniques, you can go and Google it, go look on YouTube that's really very effective. He said, Mm -hmm. tapping on these meridians, which he said, like acupuncture. I know I've used it myself, even on an airplane. I'll be sitting there going, okay, I deeply and completely love and accept myself and tapping. So if you're not sure exactly what that is, go ahead and look it up because it's pretty interesting. So this is then even deeper, even stronger. So this really can get to the seat of the pain to Mm -hmm. heal those traumas. Because we're right at the moment that trauma happened. And we talked about physical and psychological issues. Well, they typically come from shocks. Well, how does EFT, the matrix re-imprinting, help people overcome the deep-seated emotional barriers, like limiting beliefs, chronic stress? How does it help with that? Well, every time there is a trauma experienced, it's based on a belief. The belief comes first, then the emotion. So say somebody has a situation where there's a belief of, I'm unjustly treated, so, and then the anger comes with that. Or I'm going to die, the fear, right? Now, they might not die, but that's now been encapsulated in their subconscious. It's been imprinted in yeah. the subconscious. So that person can actually still believe they're going to die in the unconscious and not even know it. And then they're producing cortisol. Yes. And the stress hormone. And then they might be gaining belly weight because the hormones are off. And yeah. so it kind of all is tied in. But yeah. they might not even realize it. But the truth is, it's coming from a past trauma or living belief. Yes. Weight gain for somebody who can't lose weight or your your diet, it's quite often because that person had an experience, typically as a child, where they were not safe. The perception was, I'm not safe or protected. And so that fat layer is a protection it's like a blanket. interesting and that's why the person will lose weight and it's the subconscious but you're not safe you're not protected and then they'll put weight back on but they don't even know what's going on until i work with them and help them understand that that makes a lot of sense it really i love all this biohacking all these things that we're learning you know we have so many more tools now to help us with things like that sure well together podcast Dear listener, if you're considering joining us for a mental wellness retreat at the LifeCo Centres, we have an exciting surprise for you. Visit thelifeco.com to discover more about what awaits you. And I'm a big believer in visualization. A big believer. It's changed my life, that's for sure. So I like that this EFT has a big component of that. What role does the visualization play in the re-imprinting past experiences to bring positive outcomes? Well, we use visualization in two ways. One way is to visualize, like um, I did a session with Miss Me, and I got her to um, visualize actually seeing herself, her ideal weight, right? Yes. And then I said, okay, where is your body saying no? And she said, it's here. She's describing going down from her throat down towards her stomach. Her stomach, yeah. yeah. And if like her subconscious is going, no, 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 because then you won't be safe. So that's one way. 
what we do in a really powerful way though is once we've done the healing we've got very specific way of using the EFT and tapping to get back to very specific memories it's not random when there's healing done and we go back to the past and you know the person might have been told they were fat and so that's there's a belief there or they weren't protected let's say then what we do is we get clients to visualize well we actually get the echoes to show them a new future with a ideal way feeling safe and, and the echo is their younger self yeah. in the visualization so they see themselves as a child or a younger version of themselves yeah and the echoes are amazing the client will say can you show me a new future self as this ideal way because remember the trauma isn't finished now there's no need yes. to feel unsafe and so now they've got this visual from in the matrix and then the client when they're in alpha you know that dream state, yes they can see themselves in that and having the experience of like in your bikini in your that dress that you want to wear you know going out feeling confident and we say like do that for at least 21 days because it takes 21 days to break a habit so that it's the height of manifestation really doing that because you've cleared all the subconscious programming and you know with matrix reimprinting we're editing memories so it no longer is a trauma, it's now a positive event. And that also changes your field. So now you can attract more positive events and people into your life. So it's it, your programming's changed, yeah. your vibration's changed, hormones. And so we, we tend to attract better things into our life. Hence why I kind of currently live in Tropic of Queensland and we <laughs> things, wild dog things. Wonderful. Yeah, so... Uh, and yeah. travelling the world, doing what you love doing after being 30 years of a traditional nurse. Yes. Now you're travelling the world and we're here live at the Life Co, by the way, at the Holistic Wellbeing Centre in Bodrum, Turkey. Yeah. And yeah, you've manifested this beautiful life. Through yeah. A lot of visualisation. I love that. It's definitely helped me visualisation. Yeah. For sure. I think anybody, anybody out there, you know, when you're listening to this, even if you just close your eyes for a moment and visualize like the most perfect day and you looking the best you can look. And if you can see that in your mind and just kind of let yourself smile and let that feeling come in to your body, you'll open your eyes with a smile on your face. Yeah. You might even open your eyes. Everything looks brighter. Yeah. And that's just a simple, quick example. True. So I can imagine working with you how powerful, how powerful this is. And it's it's just so important. Mm. Self-care, self-love. Like we're not taught that usually as children. Mm. So we need to learn it as adults. In fact, can you share just some more insights on the importance of self-care and the self-care practices to like build resilience? Well, I've been doing a lot of work on myself you know, we're here at the Detox Centre in, in Bodrum at Life Co. And I've done this a number of times. So detoxing, basically resetting your body. I also, as we do here, yoga. I do meditations and I make sure I go to the beach. I mean, not everybody can go to the beach, but go out into nature. Because I find Winnie the Pooh said something. When you're busy doing nothing, everything is created. <laughs> And I really love that state. That is really nice. Yeah. It's true. Like, you know, people listening, wherever you are in the world right now, you know, maybe you're not by a beach, you're not by the forest, you can't, but you know what? You can put your bare feet in the ground mm. wherever you are and start with that. Yeah. Right? So, you know, we were talking about trauma because mm-hmm. it is, you know, maybe it's not the sexiest topic. It's an important topic. Yeah. All of us, no matter how charmed you maybe had your childhood, everybody has some trauma, whether you're aware of it or not, and some more than others, of course. And as we go through the healing process, it can be a challenge to navigate the complexities of recovery, of trauma recovery. Sure. And what practical strategies would you recommend for people to break through these deep-seated emotional barriers, to kind of overcome these limiting beliefs, conquer the chronic stress? It's just so important right now. I think we're probably... Gen X, not to give it away, but if you're Gen X or a baby boomer, we're taught go, 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 go. And what is trauma? There's no such thing as this chronic stress. That's just life. Yeah. But the truth is we all have it. So what kind of strategies can people use? Ultimately, maybe a bit biased, but ultimately in order to heal, it's it's about finding a method to heal your past traumas, really. Because that's ultimately what's going to change you on a biological, emotional mindset way Mm -hmm. really so there's lots of things you can do which will help you get through life all right 
But ultimately, if you really want to heal, then changing your subconscious programming and limited beliefs is really what's going to change your life. You know what? Amen to that. Mm. You know, I've done this work myself. Changed my life. It yeah. really did. And there were some things from childhood, really little. Yeah. We healed it. Yeah. And I can talk about it. I see it. And I have no negative emotion. I don't sweat. I don't feel sad. Mm. My energy is, it's over. It's yeah. healed. It's done. Yeah. You know, it, it's so important. And for people listening, like, you know, baby steps. Like you can take baby steps. Just start doing something That's towards healing this trauma. And as you do that, you start feeling better. They'll reach for more things. You're like, what else can I do to heal? That's exactly the mindset I had. I did work on myself and it was just a natural process. Then, you know, I'd get triggered about something else and I'm like, okay, well, where does that go back to? And then I'd do the technique and get back and then I'd have a shift and then it becomes an inquiry. It's not talk therapy either. We don't need to go into a lot of detail. Exactly. I love that. So we're here with Caroline Dawson. And if you want to know more, she does have a book that will be coming out. You can search her out. Yes. There'll be a lot more information in that. And I'm assuming you also take private clients. I and do. do yeah. so. so you can find Caroline Dawson if this is something that interests you. And before we go, I just wanted to ask, could you please share a powerful success story? of one of your clients who experienced significant personal growth through this EFT matrix re-imprinting. Okay, sure. Now, can I just clarify also what you said about forgetting? The conscious mind does ah, forget exactly. all stuff, right? Yes. But the subconscious remembers everything. It's all in there. Bruce Lipton, who's a doctor actually, he, he says that the subconscious mind can hold 40 million bits of information. The conscious mind, 40. All right. And the other thing is, we also, in the subconscious programming, is our birth experience, which I actually had to work on. So when we're in the womb and when we're born, we can go through quite significant traumas that affect the rest of our life. So the, as the question you asked, I had a lady come on a course, because I am a trainer as well, and she said she was probably about 60 and she had spent all her life looking at all different modalities, mainstream psychology, to find the core of her depression, right? And I'm so confident in this method. I said, do you want to find out now? And so I asked her questions about the depression because everybody's feeling of depression can be different. And she described it like dark cloud all over her body and fear. So I tapped on her and I just, you know, directed her to go back as she can remember. And within a minute, she was at a birth. And what happened was she was born with the cold round her neck three times and the belief was, I'm going to die. And that was the depression. So what happened was I did a, a demo with her actually and we were able to go back, you know, because we talked about going into the memory. She went in, took off the cord off the baby's neck she was tapping for the shock and she was there saying, you're not going to die, right? And it's wow. the depression lifted. Wow. After 60 years of searching. Amazing. That's beautiful. Mm. It's, it's never too late is what it shows you. It's never too late. Never, ever, ever. And if you've tried things in the past and they didn't work, you know what? Don't give up because there's things like this exactly. that really make a very impactful difference. Exactly. Well, Caroline, it has been a pleasure to have you today on the Well Together podcast. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Well, that's it for this episode of the Well Together podcast with Caroline Dawson and your host, Michelle Schoenfeld. Hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Thank you for joining us. Well Together podcast. Inspiring Stories from the Life Co. Let's introduce Isi Arisara as she shares her well-being journey at the Life Co. Phuket. In her words, well-being is not just physical, it's mental and spiritual as well. Hello, everybody. My name is Isi. I am a yoga instructor and I am 28 years old. I would say that this place has to be one of the most memorable experiences that I've ever had in my life. I thought at first my impression here would be about purely physical, but then 
I discover that after the course is over, the things that impress me the most is actually about my mentality. One of the workshops that I've had, which is called the breath work, I found myself crying in the workshop and it was actually, I found out that it kind of unlocked me some of the stress or some of the part that I try to bury it for the rest of my life. And then it has been cracked and unlocked at that time. And after that, I feel even more happy. What I really like the most is those workshops, food workshops and breath work, which is uh, actually something that really work on my mentality, not just a physical body. Healthy, in my opinion, it's not just something physical, but it's also about how do you feel mentally? Like, how do you feel when you wake up? How do you feel when you just have a piece of cake? You feel guilty? So that also means healthy for me as well, because for the whole thing, healthy for me, it means balance. You know, how you balance in life, physically and mentally. And most importantly, are you happy? That's as I, what I would say, healthy. That's what it means, is you have to be both physically, mentally and spiritually happy. Well Together Podcast. Start a special journey to a healthier you at the Life Co. Phuket. Located on the stunning island of Thailand, the Life Co. Phuket is a haven to improve your overall quality of life with a holistic wellness approach to body, mind, and soul. Our clinically integrated healing programs offer specialized medical services and natural therapies tailored for cancer prevention and recovery from chronic diseases under a serene atmosphere. Visit thelifeco.com today for a life-transforming wellness experience. Thank you for listening Well Together podcast.